ahead. Make my day. I see Danny. Restless. Milk was a bad choice. Watch on right hand. Watch off left hand. Watch on. Wax off. Hello, and welcome to Watchlist Rundown, the podcast where we explore the cinematic universe one ridiculous question at a time. We are so glad to have you here with us. My name is Hunter, and I am one of your hosts on our show, and I am joined by my good friend and co-host, Nick. hey For this episode, we are be going through our hot takes on Hot Take Tuesday. Hot Take Tuesday! This is going to be the first one of a <laughs> hopefully <laughs> ongoing... S- <laughs> <laughs> on a hopefully ongoing series of hot takes. So look forward to more Hot Take Tuesdays to come. And anyway, let's get started. What's your, what's your, you said you have lots of them. So what's your first hot take on Hot Take Tuesday? Inception's a bad movie. I don't like Inception. How many times have you seen it? A lot. And you don't like it? I hate it so much. Why? I just, I, I wasn't expecting to disagree with your hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> Started off hot. I don't... I don't know. It's, you don't like it at all? There's I, nothing you enjoy about it. I don't know. Leo DiCaprio's good. Like, the slowdown scenes are so good. It's all right. It, the flipping upside-down scene. It's very mid for me. The, the, the scene where the, car, the bus is, like, flipping around and the hallway I, is twisting and they're I, still fighting... If I wanted to see that, I could just watch Doctor Strange. They didn't even do that in the second Doctor Strange. I don't care. I can just watch the first one. There's only one Inception. <laughs> and it was so good. There doesn't need to be another one. Uh, it, it was I don't, I, pretty mid, I just, in my opinion. I, I just love Christopher Nolan movies. I do too, but I, that one would just... It, I, I don't know. I just, you don't like Inception. I, the music is the music incredible. Is, is Hans the only Zimmer reason why I like it. Is the mo- okay, not, not even a hot take. Hans Zimmer, most incredible composer. Like John Williams, he's great. Mm-hmm. You know, I love John, I love John Williams, but I think that Hans Zimmer is the best composer of all time. Have you listened to that Man of Steel soundtrack? That's like amazing. Wonder Woman's soundtrack, like. Um, <laughs> I, I, I literally got for my birthday a Hans Zimmer record, and it's like Hans Zimmer Live, and it's got like six records inside of it of all different Hans really? Zimmer songs. It's so good. Hmm. Um, so I don't, even, I don't even know if that's a hot take or not, but I think Hans Zimmer is the greatest composer of all time. John Williams? Of all time? I do. Uh, well, I guess mu- movie composer. I don't oh. know about like actually like classical music composer, like... Johann Bach and all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, I think, when it comes to movie music, he's the best. John Williams is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, he has some of the greatest, you know, scores on most movies that he's in. Like, he's got tr- the Star Wars scores. He, he's he got some great music. Mm-hmm. I mean, Indiana Jones, classic. Hits every time. But so does Hans Zimmer's music. Pirates of the Caribbean, so good. Classic. Wait, he Hans Zimmer did Pirates of the Caribbean? He did Pirates, he did The Dark Knight, he did Inception, Interstellar. He has such good... You don't like Interstellar either? I will get to it. You don't like no, Interstellar? We, we gotta go one at a time, bro. You gotta, you gotta say yours and I'll go to mine. Oh, I'm bro. so... Uh, I'm annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> You clearly don't like Christopher Nolan. Did Christopher Nolan do an Inception? Interstellar? Interstellar? Yeah. Really? Interstellar, Inception. Wow. I don't like that one either. What? I don't like that one. How do you not? It's so good. <laughs> like I, the I'm, scene, only, I'm only saying the scene that where because he I've lo- never watched it. The scene where they land... Yeah, I've never seen it. You're <laughs> kidding me. Okay, then you need to watch Interstellar. It's literally like... It's, All I know is li- Matthew McConaughey yelling at him. No, no, no. And it's then he like so meets up with his daughter good. when she's like 80 years old. That's all I know. So good, dude. You gotta watch it. You would love it. Really? I have not led you wrong with a movie. I don't know. I, I, when, when did I lead you wrong with a movie? Uh, y- hmm? 
No, I think you're right. Yeah, Man. exactly. Watch it. It's so good. Well, okay, I'll watch Aaron Slower when you watch Titanic. How about that? Deal. No, I, you know what? Actually, no. I'll watch Aaron Slower when you watch The Boys. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll start watching The Boys at work. You better. <laughs> no, don't watch that work. Do not watch it at work. <laughs> no. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it when I, like, go to bed or something. Um, but you have to watch it. I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch it tonight. You can't have a hot take on something you haven't seen. Oh, that's why I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Christopher Nolan, favorite director. I love Christopher Nolan. He makes amazing movies. I love his use of practical effects. I'm so excited to watch Oppenheimer. It's going to be so good. Oh, dude. I can't wait for Oppenheimer. That's going to be such a good movie. Oh, dude. Double double feature, Barbie and... Uh, did you see that the Getty Drive-In's doing that? Are they? Barbie do- and Oppenheimer. Oof. I'm got... Day one, baby. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna watch Barbie in theaters or not, because... Doesn't Riley want to? She wants to see it, but she doesn't want to go to theaters for it. So, we might just wait for it to come on digital and then watch it. But I am gonna watch Oppenheimer... We're going to watch it in, in IMAX. IMAX. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feel that nuke, baby. In, a, uh, in IMAX on Thursday. Yes. We are going to feel the nuke and walk out devastated, according to Christopher Nolan. Yep. Um, okay. So, I guess that's your hot take. My top take is... I think that Andrew Garfield is too cool to be Spider-Man, but that his Spider-Man movies are so freaking good. You know... Everybody, everybody hates on them. Everybody, everybody disses hates, on them. Everybody right? always. At least, I think it's don't, getting don't better. Don't get me wrong. Amazing Spider-Man Two does have some dull moments, but and like there's like three stories in one movie. But anyway, <laughs> I think that it's movie, one of the better Spider-Man movies. It, the worst part of that movie is, and it's still a cool scene. The end of fight scene. Where the hell are they? <laughs> It's like, we're expecting this to be a power grid? That's not how power grids look. For real. Dude, like, no, you cannot tell me that you watch that, like, Manhattan fight scene between Electro and Spider-Man and not get goosebumps when his theme comes on. Or, like, the scene where he does, like, that slow motion, pulling people's hands off the rail in Times Square and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. It was yeah, it's so cool! Yeah, like, like, I have not seen a Spider-Man scene probably that cool since. Yeah... Maybe, yeah. maybe the Tom no. Holland one where he's fighting the VR drones. Yeah, I was about to say that, that one. When is... he's like, "Come on, Peter Single." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Peter. Tinkle. Yeah, that that is an incredible scene. But I think Andrew Garfield is so underrated. I think that he is an inc- he's the best Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I think I love Tom Holland Spider Man. I think he is an incredible Spider Man. I think that Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, when he's, like, swinging through the city, when he's fighting, when he's talking to the people, like, he's so... He's funny. He's so cool. Like, I think, if anything, he's not a good Peter Parker because he's too cool. Yeah. He's not nerdy enough. He, they show his smartness. Yeah, with he's him, so like, nerd. He's like, a nerd, yeah, but he's not, when he's like, with, like, Dr. Connors. But he's not a goofy nerd. Like, he doesn't, like, he doesn't make, like, the dumb jokes, and he's not, like, nerdy. Like, the scene where he's, like, stopping those guys from chasing after Gwen, he, like, throws the coffee at the guy and trips him, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, and, like, he's so cool. Oh, yeah, like, he ties his shoes. Ties his shoe and, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that, that was a good scene. I did like there's that. There's so many good scenes in Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and he's so just cool. And I feel like people hate on those movies unnecessarily too much. Yes. Like, they're so good. So that's my hot take. Andrew Garfield, an amazing Spider-Man. I, I think that after he was in the new Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home, he got more recognition and more credit. And I think that people are, like, wanting to get Spider-Man 3. Dude, he... I hope he's in Venom 3. You know how sick that would be? That would be super sick. I mean... He would get to fight his Venom, and Venom is literally going and looking for Spider-Man. It's literally what he said, like, well, we have to go find this Spider-Man in the end of No Way Home. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, that's why I really hope Venom 3 is about, like, he goes to New York to find Spider-Man, and then he finds Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I, what is he going for Spider-Man for? <laughs> they, they, I don't they, know. They give a re- like, why does he need to fight you know, Spider-Man? Maybe I should go, maybe I should go to New maybe, York. And, maybe oh, I should go meet this Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yummy. Yeah, but, 
Yeah, that's why. Because Venom wants to eat Venom him. Venom wants to eat him, but like... I don't, I don't know. I just feel like the anti-hero thing is so weird. Like, there's so, there's a way you could do it for oh, yeah. anti-heroes, but I feel like it's just... Venom is supposed to be a bad guy. Venom's a bad guy. Like... Maybe the person inside the suit isn't, but the symbiote is supposed to corrupt like like a whole crocs does in Harry Potter. It's supposed to make you not a good person. Like that's why you have Bully Maguire. Like God, no, can we not bring him up right now? I take <laughs> oh Bully Maguire's God. great. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna <laughs> put some dirt in your some dirt in your eye. Oh my gosh. Am I I mean like Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. It, <laughs> in, in like Tom Hardy's Venom, I love those movies. They're super funny. Like the second one was kind of iffy. I didn't. Watch, it was. I didn't watch very the second one. fast. I only watched the end credit scene. <laughs> Wait, you haven't watched? No, I, really? I, because I didn't have time to. It was I was really busy around that time. Woody Harrelson as as Cletus Cassie is very. He was weird. Awkward. Yeah. I like Woody Harrelson, but I, I just, love him. Kingpin is like my favorite. Have you seen Kingpin with him? He's like a mm-hmm. bully. He's like a professional bowler. He loses his hand. I have heard about it. I have. It's seen it's it. a really good movie. Um, I th- I like Woody Harrelson, and I think that the movie. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. I've heard it wasn't super great. I enjoyed the end credit scene. Um, Everybody enjoyed it that's, until Knowing Home came out, and he was not. He in was not movie. in it. Yeah, and then just to go back to his yeah. world. Oh my god, that was but so now, stupid. Now the Venom symbiote is in the MCU. That so. is true. The um, little, little, like little, 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 little thing. thing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the Venom symbiote didn't do what it's supposed to do to Eddie. He's supposed to become corrupt. And I'm gonna kill some people. Yes, like well, if like, you watch Venom two, um, the symbiote does like Venom tells Eddie that he wants to kill people, like he wants to eat people. He doesn't want because Eddie's only making him kill chickens and eat chocolate. Yeah, that's true. And um, he's he just wants to go out there and kill people, but Eddie's like, no, 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 he can't. He's like, I'm going to leave you. Like he leaves Eddie. Oh, does he? Yeah, okay. for like a good portion of the movie like he leaves him i don't but then he comes back to him doesn't he yeah it's been forever since i watched the movie but i think so yeah i don't know i just feel like they're they're venom shouldn't be a hero no like it just doesn't fit the character i just i like how i i think i know it's hard to make a good villain movie like Without making the character seem just dislikable? They could have made Morbius so good. If he was just a villain? If he was a villain and didn't have a love story. Dude. True. Matt Smith as his villain. Oh my god. <laughs> that was, was so good. His, but they fucked it up. His, That's sad. That's sad. It was doing, so like, this weird dancing thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I feel like Venom was just not... Matt Smith should have been Morbius. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm that okay I, with Jared I, Leto. Jared Leto's cool and all. I mean, he's no, he's kind of a shitty person as far as I've heard, but I don't know. I feel like he's crazy. Yeah, that's. I guess that's more what I mean. He's crazy. Did he? Did he really like gave people like dead animals when he was filming Joker? Yeah. Yeah, you gave him like snakes and stuff, like rats and. Yeah. But he's always done that. Yeah, though. he's cuckoo. Um, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. So I guess hot take. Venom. I don't even know if it is a hot take. Venom should have been a bad guy. Most of these bad... Hot take. They well, should stop making these anti-hero Sony movies. And you know what they should be doing? They should be doing uh, um, these villain movies as villains and setting up the Sinister, Snick, Sinister Six yeah. for each thing. So each post scout thing is them re- recruiting them and then... Coming all together and... To yeah. fight... Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield gets a Sinister Six movie? That'd be sick. It'd be awesome. Because you have Morbius. Why could they not get one more villain to have uh, Tom Holland face? So he could be, if we could say it's a Sinister Six. Instead, they gave us a Sinister they Five. They had five villains. You just they needed just one more. more. <laughs> yeah, they could have had Prowler. They could have had, had Venom. They could have had Venom. They could have had Venom. Why didn't they have Venom? I guess we. I guess they couldn't. Because Scorpion, you know, you know, who, you know they they set up Scorpion not to but use him. Eddie Brock knew. I'm sure Topher Grace would have come back to play Venom. 
<laughs> no, he would not, dude. He no? Would, no, he would not. There's no way. I don't know. I feel like Topher Grace... Hey, Parker. <laughs> God, it's... I feel like they should have brought Topher Grace. I like Topher Grace. <laughs> Do you think they should have brought Eddie, like, Topher Grace back instead of Sandman? No. Sandman. I liked I liked Sandman. It's like, because in a way, Sandman was not really a villain in No Way Home. No, I kind of liked how they wanted did. to go. He just home. wanted to go home, and which was kind of weird. Then why was he fighting Spider Man for the box? Because Sandman doesn't die, so why was he fighting Spider Man for the box? You know, I don't know. And Doc Ock was barely a villain. He came back then as a hero, like helped him out. Yeah. And so basically it was just Electro, Lizard, and Goblin. Yeah, because they all die. Lizard doesn't die. Lizard doesn't die. Lizard just wanted to Electro eat. Lizard just wanted dies. to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Well Lizard is what Venom should be. He just gets completely corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I just that's I guess hot take. Um what's your next hot take? Uh, I don't know if you're gonna know this one, but uh, well, you might. I think Rob Zombie's Michael Myers is the best Michael Myers. That's the original Michael Myers, isn't it? No, that's Nick Castle. Uh, Rob Rob Zombie's was the 2009 one. Uh, I have don't hate seen 2018 and then kills. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I've seen clips from the original Halloween. So, Rob Zombie's Halloween is Isn't the he, remake. like, a weird mask? Yeah, it's rotten. Like, it's all... Um, I thought his was more white. It almost looked like his white paint. Or is that a different one? That is the mask. It's white paint. Yeah, but it looks, like, too skinny or something. I don't know. It doesn't look like the Michael Myers mask that we have now... Well, I guess the one we have now is all burnt. I guess not so hot take. Kill sucked. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Or not whoa. kills, not kills, ends. Ends. Sorry, not kills, ends. My hot take, I thought ends was all right. As a Halloween fan, you thought ends. Are you trying to just, like, justify it for yourself? Uh, okay, you can stop. Okay, because... Not hot, so I, hot take. Okay. Ends was really just not great. It was good. It was bad. It was bad to end the trilogy, but it was good to start a new one. If they would have kept Corey. But they didn't. He died. <laughs> it so, was just so. not... You know, if, if they... It, I feel like Michael Myers was barely in his own movie. You know? Okay. I'm okay with the idea of him corrupting somebody else to take over the mantle of Michael Myers. Like, that makes sense. Michael Myers was getting old. His body was destroyed. Like, I get maybe having somebody else become Michael Myers. See, but that didn't work out in Jason Goes to Hell. That's what they did in Jason Goes to Hell. You, like, possess people. Well, they could have done it better. It's really, really, it's just to continue the series think, as a new I character. I think the way they should have done it is uh, that the spirit of Michael is in the mask. And whoever puts on yeah. the mask is Michael. Yeah. I, I thought it was, but they um, didn't, it just yeah. didn't, yeah, it didn't, I don't think the movie worked. I think that if they, maybe, maybe if they kept him alive, not like not, uh, Michael, the other guy, uh, what's Corey. Name? Corey, alive, maybe the movie could have been justifiably better. Imagine having, but I can't justify <sighs> the movie where the main new character who came out of nowhere dies, who could have taken over the mantle, and... Where Michael Meyer dies in such a stupid way. Wait, did you watch Kills? I thought you Yes, we watched, watched it together. Kills? Yeah. Halloween Kills. Yes. No, no, ends. Ends. You had me watch a rundown of... The Kill Count. Yeah, of with the Kill Jane, With James A. Genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watched, made me watch the Kill Count. Yeah. Evil dies tonight. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh my gosh. Evil dies tonight. Oh my god, okay, whatever. <laughs> that... Oh my god, don't even get me started on Halloween Kills, bro. I mean, I like that movie and all. Do you? I do. I, I did watch that. I do like it. Cause... I did watch... I watched that with, the, like, some of the scenes in theaters as I was doing theater checks. Um, I guess, note to the podcast listeners, we both work at a movie theater. Um, it was amazing. I loved my job. 
So he still works at a movie theater. I don't anymore. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Different movie theater though. I'm a manager at one. Not too cool. I know, right? <laughs> no, yeah. I, I watched during some theater checks some scenes, and I remember watching them beat the shit out of Michael at the very end of Kills. Like, oh my god, all, that is the best scene. That's a good scene. Oh, when what? when his music when he gets gets off. Oh my god. See, that's a problem I have with Halloween Ends is because. They don't have the Halloween theme in there. Did you notice that? Like, it's only the beginning titles when Lori really? gets choked and the end. There's no. Huh. I well, swear I feel like God. they didn't want to use the Halloween I, theme. I will on give you Corey. my Shutter info, and you watch the original Halloween on there. Every scene has the has the intro. I used to play a drinking game with my dad. Every time that the Halloween theme comes on the movie. <laughs> We take a shot. Oh, you know how messed up we were? <laughs> it wasn't even like 40 minutes in the movie. <laughs> After you know, it ends, you would get to the end and be like, well, let's go drive home. For real? <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 okay, well, oh. <laughs> so it plays at the beginning, and then in the sewer when he kills the cop, it plays for a smidge second when he grabs his knife, which is a cool scene, by the way, when he grabs it from the yeah, yeah, rock yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but it's very quiet. And then he stabs him and then it's over. Not so hot take, that theme song is so good. It's my personal favorite. It's so good. Right? It's so good. It's so recognizable. It's so, it's so good. Anyway, um, and sucked. Michael Myers' death was stupid. Oh my God. Out of all the ways they could have done it, they put him in a meat grinder at a junkyard? They dropped the fridge on him and cut his wrists? Okay, here's the thing. If he can survive a fucking house being on fire and a mob viciously beating him to fucking death, how the fuck can he not kick up a fridge? Okay, he did slice his other hand open and choke Lori. Just, just, but just... Allison... A 21-year-old girl grabbed his arm and broke it? Come on, yeah. dude. It, what? Are you realizing how bad of a movie it was now? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's your favorite, but like it's no, such Hall a No, Halloween bad... Ends is not my favorite. No, I know this, the, the, my the favorite Halloween Hall movies are your favorite. But... I'll, I'll discuss like when we do like tier lists, like the horror movies, like in October or whatever. We'll have an like, episode where you just talk about the Halloween movies. Oh my your, god. Your, your list. Get ready for part 10 episodes <laughs> where I go into the deep lore of Michael Myers. Okay, we need more hot takes. Um, Captain America is a crappy Avenger. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm that's joking. not a real hot take yeah, know, it, because he's my favorite. <laughs> I know he is. He's my yeah. favorite. I love Captain America. I think that... I think whoever played, um... The High Evolutionary. Yeah? The dude who played him. Yeah. I think he should have been cast as Kang. He could have been a variant of Kang and it would have been really dope, yeah. I don't... I, well, All I see The is only Kang. reason is because of Jonathan Major's issues right now. Like, well, I mean, they're past now. He's... He got... Uh, I, I, yeah, but I'm also hearing a bunch of other things. I don't know. It it's just, so stupid how... Like, okay. But I did hear see that Anthony Mackie came to his defense. And he's like, he's literally was proven innocent. Like, I don't it's know. It's so real to Yeah. So, I, I'm, I'm okay. I think that Jonathan Majors has a great performance as Kang every time he's played him. Like, when he came in as Loki, he's so calm and sinister it's like Heath Ledger acting yes Joker. it's Heath Ledger like he was, style Joker as like a different evil villain like he was so good he was so calm he's like you know you would hate to meet my other variants I don't understand he was Kang no when we first watched Loki I was like okay who the fuck is this did guy? you ever did have you ever seen Kang in anything else uh like the Avengers cartoons in the yeah comics. he was so good in that yeah so I I'm I hope that they kind of do where the Avengers end up bringing about the end of the world. Or maybe it's in another universe where that happens because that's what happens to the original Kang. That's why he goes back and tries to kill all the Avengers is because they ended the world. So I, I don't know. I feel like they're kind of getting away from that a little bit, but. <sighs> you know, hot take, the MCU isn't what the MCU used to be. 
it's so all over the place right now, and I don't think... It's, I feel like it's going to all come together. They cut the head of the chicken off, and now it's just running everywhere, you know? I don't... I don't know. Maybe. I feel... I think that they have an idea, an end goal in mind. They've and, been having flop after flop after flop, though. You like, know? Like Thor, ant I like Thor. I liked it, too, but it did not okay, look good at the box There's office. a difference between... It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't... In the story, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna... They released the movie. It, I, I it, think they should have had um, Korg narrate the movie, so it, it's, like, through Korg's perspective. It is. Is it? Yeah. Did they yeah. say it was? No, but I, it's, I, I'm pretty sure it is. That's why I think some of the stuff is wacky. Is Wait, because he's at the beginning of the movie saying, let me tell you a tale about Thor, right? Tell yeah, the kids. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. It's, yeah. It is Korg's perspective, which is why it's... Some stuff is probably not really. I how wish it, it wasn't happened. that goofy though, because Jane Foster as Thor—that's yeah. a big storyline, you know. Yeah, I, I, I guess I don't know. I, I, I didn't mind the movie. I mean, I, I watched it again after it was released digitally, and it wasn't a bad movie. I thought I it have, was. I have to rewatch it. I thought it was fun. I didn't. There was some stuff that I would have preferred wasn't in it or didn't happen. But I guess, hot take. The goats. <laughs> the goats are so funny. They were so stupid. They're so funny. I hate the Those goats. Those are real characters. Those are real mythical characters. Do they scream? Yes. Every 10 seconds? Yes. <laughs> well, somebody should put down those goats. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally Thor's goats. <laughs> or Odin's goats or whatever. Or are they Odin's? I think they're Odin's. Dude, they should have had the Odin cr crows, like, in the movies. The Odin's crows were in the first Thor movie, weren't they? Yeah, but they didn't do anything. Like, they yeah, they never do anything. They're messengers. They report back to Odin. Oh, I thought they had, like, power. No, no, they're I'm literally... I'm thinking of something else. I'm probably. probably. But the Odin... The, the, the crows are messengers to Odin. Basically, he sends them out, and they will basically do recon for him. Well, they just go through the... Through the, um... Oh my god, what's the name? What's the worm thing? The Bifrost? <laughs> they just go through the Bifrost and just come back through it? Probably. <laughs> they have their own little they scroll breakers. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crow breaker. Crow. No. The crow. I think the that flow. Thor was a good movie. I think that there was a lot of things that could have been better in it, but overall I thought it was pretty fun. I wish that they would have done Zeus differently. Especially since Russell Crowe is such a good actor. Dude, the part where he's walking down the stairs and he just grabs his little skirt and just... This, this little... <laughs> I, I, I think that Russell Crowe did a good job doing what they wanted him to do. It should have made him buff. Russell Crowe has gained a little bit of weight. He's not his old gladiator self. That's for sure. But I, I just wish they did him more serious. Like, when I heard that they were going to have Zeus... In Thor, I was like, oh, this is gonna be cool. And then he was not very cool. <laughs> but uh, they did an Injus Hercules, which I was kind of disappointed. I mean, I'm okay with it. I think he, he's gonna be cool. I think he's gonna be a great Hercules, but. I think he's I, gonna start off as a villain and realize that his dad was wrong and is gonna turn into a hero. Because. Oh, de well, definitely. Yeah. I really wish that they. Or they're well, never gonna use him again. <laughs> That would suck, though. They're pro they're probably gonna use him. Um, Henry Cavill should have been Hercules, but yeah, I mean, fair. You know how cool that would have been, Russell Crowe. But at that and... point, he was still Superman. No, he wasn't. He was fired. Not yet. Not when that movie came out. He got fired like right after Justice League came out. Justice League. Yeah. Yeah, but then he came back in Black Adam, which came out. After, so there was there were still probably discussions well, happening with him and DC. When did Thor came out in twenty twenty, right or twenty twenty one? Twenty twenty two. No. Yeah. Last summer was twenty twenty two. I think came out last summer. I'm telling you, it came out in. I'm telling you, it came out July seventh, twenty twenty one. Thor: Love and Thunder, twenty twenty two. That came out last summer. Yeah. MCU's been on a roll. They've released more stuff in. That's right. Last year we were. Last the year we whole were year, juiced. It they was gave us like so much every stuff. month there was something. There was always something. It was a great year. 
Was it though? Yes, it was. Hot take, hate Miss Marvel. I do not like that show. Miss Marvel was. Did you finish it? Yes. Okay. I think that Kamala Khan and the girl who plays her, I can't remember her name. I think she did a good job with the character. She did. I, I think that she the is, movie. I think she fits the character well. I think that the way they told the story started off way too kiddish for the MCU. I think it's supposed to be like that. Though. I know it's supposed to, but but I, I feel like, I hot take, Miss Marvel overall wasn't that bad. It wasn't, I, I wouldn't go back and watch it again. Mm -hmm. But I think that they introduced the character pretty well. They gave her a good origin. And I think that they're going to expand upon her character pretty good in the Marvels. Which, maybe not a hot take, I think looks really good. Watching the trailer, I think it looks great. Have you been keeping up with Secret Invasion? I watched the first episode. Uh, I haven't had the chance to watch any of the others yet. I've okay. seen a couple spoilers, I think. Not really, but... I don't know. I saw the scene where he like rips his hand off with a knife, which was like dope. But um, besides that, I haven't really seen anything for the other ones. Okay, I'm trying. To I've think. heard that it's pretty good. I mean, I I didn't di well, I didn't dislike the, the first episode. The Marvels spoil Secret Invasion in a way. Like Secret Invasion spoils the Marvels. No, Secret Invasion or the Marvels spoil Secret Invasion. Why? Because Fury's there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that takes place no, it's because just before. Okay, this isn't really a spoiler, but spoiler warning for Secret Invasion. Nick Fury loses his job, right, as director of S.W.O.R.D. or whatever the space station is and okay. director. So, like... Saber? Yeah, is that what it's called? Saber. Yeah. So, like, he loses his jobs, but obviously he gets his job back, so something must happen, you know. I think that what we've seen in the trailer when... Um, Miss Marvel is like flying through space, freaking out when she transfers into the suit. I think it happens just before Nick Fury comes to Earth. I don't think so because Nick Fury has a big beard, and in that one, he has his goatee that he has that he just he he has he just gets his goatee in episode three. So, hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll find out. Not really talking about hot takes at this point. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Oh, uh. You're not signed into IMDb. Dude, oh my god, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, I use IMDb for everything. I have like 700 movies rated. I don't. You don't have any movies rated? No. That's They're cool. all in my brain. All in my brain. Thor The Dark World, not very good. Not even a hot take. I just don't really like it. Hot take. First Thor is my favorite Thor. That's fair. That is fair. I mean, I really liked the third one a lot. I thought it was funny and it was a good, but I also feel like it changed who Thor was. I... Which isn't a bad thing, but I wish they kept with that Thor from the end of that movie. Like, why does he need Stormbreaker? You know? Like, I don't, I don't know why he needs Stormbreaker. Because at the end of that movie, he's like... I and he mean, never uses he, his powers does, again. I know! He doesn't use his Palpatine hands. <sighs> that You know, that what it came... So much Hot comedy. take! He needs to just use his hands. He literally could have gone, <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, he just, like... Hot take. He should be the same Thor as that movie, but he's not. He doesn't... They should have kept the eye patch. Oh cool. no, they don't need the eye patch though. I mean, it was cool, but he literally can have glowing eyes and they're sick. But he doesn't ever have glowing eyes. No, oh, he did. Did he have glowing eyes in the Endgame? Game? In Endgame, he did, but he didn't have it in the new Thor movie in Love and Thunder. I don't think. Yeah, he did. When? When. Yeah. Oh, wait. He does use his powers in Love and Thunder. When uh, he's trapped by Zeus. And he's like fighting uh, all the people. Yeah. I think he's using he his powers. He's using his powers, but why does he need Stormbreaker? Like it drives me nuts that he. he I mean, Stormbreaker is cool. I like Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker's dope, but I don't feel like he needs Stormbreaker unless. I mean, I understand using a weapon to like you know chop things in half and hit things hard and stuff, but he I think also it should have gotten destroyed during Ragnarok. He's like destroying whole. <laughs> Crowds of villain just with his fists of lightning, real. and it was sick. 
And I feel like they just, this, the Thor is not the same as he used to be. In at least that movie. Hmm. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Um, Can I tell you a secret? Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. I saw you looking at it. What, what are you going to say? I haven't seen The Incredible Hulk. What? <laughs> you haven't seen The Incredible Hulk? No. I don't know why. I just never... I never... When the MCU started, I saw Iron Man. I saw all the it's other ones. Disney. I know it is. I saw Iron Man. I saw the other ones. But at that point, I was still young. I was, I was like, what, 10 when the first one came out, probably? And my parents never watched The Incredible Hulk. So I never watched it. Really? And I just never went back to watch it because it's Edward Norton. I know it's technically still the same character, but I just, I never went and watched it. I've heard it's good. It's all right. I've heard that the, that it's like a pretty, everybody's kind of mad that that's not how the Hulk, how the Hulk is now. That's what I hear. <sighs> yeah, I don't like Professor Hulk. I don't feel like that's a very hot take. I feel like nobody really likes Professor Hulk. I think that he was funny and useful for a little while and I, th- again. I think what we have coming is going to be professor hulk or not professor hulk right. world, world war hulk i because i think hulk is going to be pissed that he's being suppressed by that watch and the watch is gonna like break somehow or something and then you're gonna get a super pissed hulk and you're gonna get world war hulk i think what should happen is in secret wars or king dynasty when they're fighting king mm-hmm. i really hope king will be like somebody else is in there and then like split them like bruce banner and then hulk like he splits their bodies you know uh, like how they did in the comics so banner's one huh. and hulk is another and then he can go on to be hulk can go to world war hulk and then become um what's what's king hulk with the bald guy like bald hulk with the big beard he has a, a fancy yeah name, I, but you know I, what I i'm know talking about about, right about, yeah. like they they should do that i don't know by the I mean, way, I don't know if that's the direction that they're going now, though, because I mean, you have She Hulk, and then you also have apparently Scar or whatever his name oh is. Dude, which don't is... even give me start on his hairline. What <laughs> is that hairline? They could have made him so. Cool. Did you see the concept art for him? He had some sweet concept art, but then Dude, they just made Marvel him... always misses on that. Like they have the sweetest concept art, and then they just go with the stupidest. Fuck concept. it up, mm-hmm. man! Like. Oh my gosh, dude, like, all the concept art that's been leaked so far has come to be true. Like, um, remember when we got, like, the Multiverse of Madness concept art Mm -hmm, for, like, the mm -hmm, Ultron bots mm -hmm. and everybody thought it was fake? Mm -hmm. And then it... It was real? It was real. So, my theory, I mean, I know this is not how to take or anything, but my theory is, remember that Doctor Doom one we got a while back? We got Doctor Doom concept art? Yeah. Yeah, like a while back. Are you sure it wasn't fan art? No, it was not fan art. It was leaked. I will show you a picture right now. Okay. Um, we got it. I don't. It was like before Black Panther. Um. He was. It was supposed to be like an end credit scene for Black Panther. But um, it got cut for some reason. But Cillian Murphy needs to be Doctor Doom. That looks like the guy from Seeker Invasion, like the main. Kinda, yeah. Like, huh. You know? Interesting. But, like... I could see Doctor Doom appearing in, in Black Panther. What I if, mean, I feel like that would make sense. Because no, no, he no, lives no. in, like, a foreign nation and stuff, but... Well, if this is the main villain for Secret Invasion, mm-hmm. what if Doom is working with the scrolls and they make it to the Super Scroll? Like, he's the one Ooh. funding all of them. Huh. And, like, that's the end credit. If that's Doom. the case, then, at that point, Fantastic Four was already in the MCU. Well, I mean, they are. They already are. Did they ever announce, actually, that they are? We still don't know who bought the Baxter building. Or the, or the, the, you think that it's the Baxter I building that it, bought Stark Tower? I think yeah. it will be the Baxter building. That's true. It could be. I hope it is. Because, like, in every, like, Spider-Man movie, when they showed New York, it was just, like, the middle of it. Like, we don't see the logo. I'm yep. like, come on, man. Yep. Show us. That's fair. It might be. Or it could be... Um, the variant of Kang, who's like the businessman mm. that bought it. That which that there would is be. a variant of Kang in the MCU. There's multiple. Yeah, well, it, sorry, in the main 616 universe. Is there? There's gotta be. Oh, well, yeah. Right? There's gotta be. Oh, it, yeah, it's um, the yeah. one in Quantumania. 
No, because he's from a different reality. Was he? Yeah. Are you sure? Because he got trapped. Hmm. I thought he was from 616. Anyway. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. He was. Another yeah. hot take. Black Widow was a good movie. Oh, God. It came out at the wrong time. It should have came out after Civil War. Yes. If it came out after Civil War, when it should have, it would have been a good movie. People would have appreciated it more. There was stuff in it that wasn't great. The CGI could have been better. Like, there's some shots that are like, why would you put that in there? But as a whole, the movie was good, and it should have come out much earlier. If it came out earlier... It should have traded places with Black Panther. Something. If it came out earlier, it would have been much better. Or... I don't know. I don't but yeah, that. I agree with you. you know, kind of. I don't know. I have some iffy stuff about it. I, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I think there was definitely stuff that could have been different. But I think that as a whole, as a movie, it wasn't a bad movie. It just came out at the wrong time. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I agree with you on that. There's nothing I can complain about on that one. Um, it wasn't like a... I, I, I wouldn't go and just watch it for fun. But as a whole, as it fits into the MCU, I didn't think it was bad. <laughs> okay, I have a hot take. I think... My hot take is... Uh, I think Ryan Gosling's overrated. But my favorite movie does have him star in it. So... What's your favorite movie? The Nice Guys with Russell Crowe. And... I haven't seen it. What? Dude, it is so good. Okay. You're going to have to... I'm going to have to add that to my watch list then. Ugh. I have so many things on there. That's like... I have like 280 It's definitely my... my it's not like list. my favorite movie of all time, but like it's in my I top think, three. I, I, I would disagree with him being overrated. I think he's a very good actor. Like... Well, it's just like... Like his performance in Blade Runner... So good. Well, yeah, I mean, like Blade Runner a, is such a freaking good movie. He's a good actor and all, but like everybody just, like, I don't know. I, I feel like, like that's also hot take. A lot of people don't like the second Blade Runner, especially people who grew up watching the original. I didn't grow up watching the original. I watched the first one, and then the second one in a row for the first time. I didn't enjoy the first one as much. Maybe it's because it's, maybe it's because it's older CGI. I felt like it was slow. Yeah. I thought it was an interesting concept. I liked the world building. I thought that probably, for the time when the movie came out, it probably was a pretty movie. Yeah. But how they built upon that movie in 2048, 2048, right? 2049. Yep, 2049. Yeah. Uh, how they built upon it in 2049, it was such a cool story. I liked how they made a character, I guess, spoiler alert, Joe, that wasn't important like yeah. it follows a guy who really in the end wasn't an important character he didn't he wasn't the character that he thought he was mm. and i thought that was super interesting we've never i don't think we've really had a movie like that before where the where the main character is nobody yeah i can't unless you're talking about ray oh my god i don't <laughs> want to even get me started on that man oh my god i fucking hate ray no offense. I mean, I don't well, dislike Ray. I dislike how they portrayed her character. I don't know if that's Finn true. should have been the Jedi, bro. They built him up to be stormtrooper turned Jedi. Turn, so yeah. cool. What? That's so I'm, cool. I'm so mad for John Boyega. They're trying to get him back for that uh, new re- new Republic. It's not the really new new, Republic, uh, new Jedi new Order. Jedi Order movie. Yeah. If he doesn't come back, I do not blame him. Because I, him I probably wouldn't come back either. They treated him like shit. They built him up to be such a huge character. Dave Filoni needs to direct those movies. Yes, he does. He needs to just direct every I said, well, Wars movie. <laughs> I think it's going to be Taika Waititi, and I'm sure Dave Filoni is going to be a assistant. No, don't tell me Taika Waititi is doing Ray's movies. I don't know if they've said who's doing Ray's movies, but Taika Waititi does have his own trilogy that's still confirmed to be in the process of being written. It's been confirmed by Star Wars when they had that panel that he has his own thing he's working on. So we have a trilogy that's mm-hmm. Attack at YT that is not a part of the Skywalker saga. It does not have any Skywalkers in it. Which is good. Yes. We gotta, we gotta get, get new stuff. From it. So there's that that's coming out. There is a New Republic era oh movie God, coming out. I'm so out. excited for that. 
That's and, oh, and then the Mando the the Mando Mandoverse. movie coming out that has John Favreau behind it, as far as I'm aware. Well, it's a Mandoverse, so it's yeah. like the end game of all the yep. TV shows, yep. which is sick. Um, so they're having that, and then they have the Ray New Jedi Order movie, which I. I'm going to watch only because Hayden Christensen and Mark Hamill are going to come back as Force Ghosts. That's the only reason why I'm going to watch it. I'm cool with that. I also have a feeling that Grogu is going to be in it and in, as hopefully a Jedi Lorian. Oh my god, can you imagine? Well, yeah, because it Cause be... Because Yoda... What, 80 100 years? years about, it's about 100 years after the Mandalore, uh, Mandalorian stuff. So, well, it's not 100 years. It's 50 years after. Um... It's fifth. Okay, so like so at fifth. that point, Grogu would have been about the same age that Yoda became a Jedi Master. It's like sixty-five years because it's like thirty years after Return of the Jedi. It's Force Awakens, and then um, Luke's like seventeen in the first Star in the, his first movie. Did you know that? Yeah. So yeah, but he was like twenty-one in Return of the Jedi. Too. Yeah. He was like the same. Uh, was he? How how quickly did those movies happen? Not that fast. I know A New Hope and Empire are like back to back, but like Return of the Jedi um, has a time gap, I think. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. That's not really today's topic, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting, we keep getting away from topic. That's all right. Um, so that was really, I don't know if I have many other hot, I have other hot takes, but I think we can save that for another Hot Take Tuesday. I don't really have much more to bring up besides the fact that you need to watch Interstellar because it's I know, great. I know, I know. You need to watch a lot of stuff too. I know, there's a lot of things that I need to watch. Did you ever watch Arcane? I have not. I'm, it's I'm, so good. I'm not really a big anime person. Oh, okay. Here's a hot take. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know if I should say this one. Okay. Actor who played William Hurt, right? He died, you know. Actor who played William Hurt? Yeah. Is that a movie? William Hurt? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Not William. William Hurt's the actor who plays okay. Thunderbolt Ross. I'm... Oh, yes, yes, well, like, yes, yes, yes. He died, right? Yeah, yeah. So they recast him as um, Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. Yeah. Right. I, I get the love for um, Chadwick Boseman, but I think they should have recasted him and had the dude who was in Tenet... <sighs> Um, I forgot his name. Something Washington. Oh, uh, yeah, John David Washington. Yeah, I think he should have been T'Challa. I have a feeling that what's going to happen is we're going to get a new T'Challa. Because, yes, we have the younger version. Uh, spoiler alert for... Which is scary-looking Chadwick Boseman. Like, he looks exactly like his son. Like, yeah. he, 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 he could be his yes. little brother. So, <laughs> I have a feeling... When we have all this multiverse stuff going on, there is going to be another variant of Black Panther. Because Black Panther is a huge part of the Avengers. Yeah, huge. and I feel like Wakanda Forever didn't do that great. I liked the movie. Yeah. I, I thought it was good. I like I like uh, Shuri as Black Panther. I think she's a cool character. Mm -hmm. I like her as a character. Um, but she's not Chadwick Boseman. She's not the Black Panther that we expected. Yeah. I remember coming out of Wakanda Forever and everybody was telling me how, like, they liked Shuri and all, but they did not really like her Black Panther. I'm okay with it. I think she's cool. I, I just, I, I want to have a, and this is nothing against her, a male Black Panther like what we had. I, we needed, I know Chasm Bozeman is not the Black Panther anymore, unfortunately, rest in peace. But I think that what we're going to have is multiverse variant of his son. Yep. Older. Oh, his son? Yes. Really? And he'll be the next Black Panther, and he'll be older. Because I don't think... I mean, I, Sh 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 Shuri doesn't want to be Black Panther. I know she came to accept being Black Panther, but that's not who she is, and I don't think that's what she wants. I think, like, when Secret Wars happens, mm -hmm. when they all come in, which I think Toby's gonna die in that movie. Probably. But, um... Like, when they all come in together, mm -hmm. I think that incursions are going to happen on different worlds. So like, the X-Men, 
Fantastic Four, that Black Panther, like sure. all these other ones, like their their worlds are gonna be gone and they're gonna have to come to our universe. I I saw this video the other day, and I guess and this is just kind of way off topic, um, but that's okay. When we have No Way Home, they're not glitching. Yeah. Why are they not glitching? It's <laughs> it's very like, odd. I don't, I'm not sure how to explain it. Everybody, I saw like the com- a comment thread and it was like, it's because they use magic. So they're still in the wrong reality. It's nothing to do with magic. It's to do with their atoms being in the wrong dimension. So I don't know. I'm, I'm confused on that. And also where did this spider come from that was in the wrong dimension that got bit Miles? But they explained it in the Cross Spiders. They did a test um, with the collider and oh, okay. like the mini okay. test and then the spider came out and then it okay. escaped. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I That was just a personal question. Um, but why were they not glitching? They should have been glitching. That should have been a thing. Yeah, um... I don't know. I, I, maybe they weren't there long enough? Why wasn't I don't know. Doctor Strange and America Chavez glitching, you know, when they were in different multiverses. Right. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's because thing. maybe maybe it's because America Chavez can multiverse jump, and that's like literally her power. Why isn't the Flash glitching? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. I know you don't agree with this, but I think Dune's a great movie. We'll I save think that for a different day. <laughs> I, I, I think story wise, it's good because it's it's got it has to build the world. There's so much world building and so much lore and stuff that is in that universe. <laughs> and I know that's not any reason to make not an entertaining movie. I understand yeah. that, which is why I'd, I'd say it's probably like a 7 out of 10. It's a gorgeous movie. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. How they did the stuff is gorgeous. Hans Zimmer's music is just, again, he's incredible. I, I like that movie. I think it's a good movie. I would watch it again, and I would be entertained. I think that there was stuff that was felt a little slow. But I think it was a good movie, and I'm very excited for the next one. All, all I think about is when I think of Doom is when, or Dune, when I uh, was walking down the hallway at Celebration Cinema, and all I hear was, Come get your dinner! <laughs> Come get your dinner! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> I, the, the theme song is still just like, it's almost like, um, like Avatar's theme songs like they can't they're well, avatar is good <laughs> <laughs> yes yes it is but that's not what we're talking about okay all right i'm running out of uh things to talk about at this point inception is a great movie i stand by that and i think you need to watch it again because it's great i think <sighs> but watch interstellar that you should watch that first. have you it's seen all of quentin movie. tarantino's movies no i've i've been going through them in order and i just finished the first Kill Bill. So I got the next Kill Bill to watch and then I'll watch the rest. I just haven't had the chance to finish them. My uh, friend CJ would disagree with me on this, but I think The Hateful Eight is one of the best. You keep t- yeah, you keep saying I need to watch that one. It's I'll get to it. it. I'm excited to watch it. I like cowboy stuff, so. He doesn't like it because there's not a lot of action, but like, I love it. I'm okay it with not having like, action. Like in, um, uh, shoot, what's it called? Reservoir Dogs? Yeah. The, it, there's hardly any action in the movie. I still think it's a great movie. Mm-hmm. Like, if you can have good, entertaining... Well, it's and, and Time in Hollywood's pretty good, too. I haven't seen it. I told you. I'm going to oh, watch yeah, Order. Yeah, yeah. I'll you get to it. it. Um, Django? I haven't watched that one. I've seen... I, I, I did see a clip. One. I did see a clip from that one in the Django um, where he's, like, sitting on the horse next to his friend and he's like, he can't come in here. And then he's like... He's a free. <laughs> and then, like, he's like, go show him around. And he's like, he's free. Go show him around as a free person. <laughs> I did see that. I thought that was funny. So I'm Dude, excited to watch that. The, that, that, I don't know what his actor name is, but he is so funny in that movie with Jonah Hill. Do you know Jonah Joan Hill's in Django? Oh, <laughs> There's a part where they're, like, putting on, like, bag heads. And oh. then he's like, I can't fucking see shit out of this thing. <laughs> it was the funniest part okay, ever. Okay, so, <laughs> last, un... Last unpopular opinion, I guess. Maybe not. He's a great actor. Jonah Hill. I think he is really, like... Wolf of Wall Street? He's growing into his roles, and I think he's a good actor, and I think he's starting to look really cool with his beard. He is awesome. I love Jonah Hill. Like, 
Oh, yeah. He's good. So anyway, we're reaching the end of this episode's time limit, so I think we're going to call this Tuesday's uh, Tuesday's episode an end. Yes. Any last notes? Henry Cavill's the best Superman. <laughs> Moving on. I just I don't disagree. I think he's a great Superman. I'm excited to see where this next Superman goes. Um, I guess maybe yeah, not right. unpopular opinion. I know that we're supposed to end the episode. Yeah. I'm excited for there to be a less gritty Superman. I think the gritty Superman I am was excited for that. I think yes. the gritty Superman was cool, but Superman is supposed to be the guy that catches a car, sets it down, and is smiling. You know? It's a plane. It, no, it's Superman. Yeah. yeah. I'm, so I'm excited to see the new Superman. I think yeah. he's going to be cool. I love James Gunn. That's another discussion for another time. Yep. All right. Thanks for joining us on this episode, and we hope to see you on the next one. See ya. See ya.